What a fantastic concert. It was absolutely brilliant. Memories quo. 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 Hello and welcome back to The Big Breakfast. Oh, yeah. Yes, I'm Denise Van Alton. And I'm Johnny Vaughan. Whatever now, all, you want. Whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> now, all morning we've been joined by gadget guru and all-round know-it-all, yes, the very lovely Miss Philippa Forrester. Yeah. Yeah. All-round know-it-all, that's awful. Are you fine? Oh, you very are. Very clever young lady. No, you are but quite Do you like status quo? Yeah, they're all right, aren't they? Good. I think I've got country. to say that, haven't I? Okay, now, <laughs> now, you work on Tomorrow's World. So yeah. is it something that you watched as a youngster? Yeah. And it was on before Top of the Pops, so I think most people watched it for that reason, as well as for the fact that it was a fantastic show. Yeah. But when I watched it, of course, it was live and everything would always go wrong, which it doesn't, it very, very rarely goes wrong now. So you can't tell It's not live, live anymore. Now. It's not live anymore. That's a shame, isn't I it? I want it to be live. Yeah. Yeah, it should be. But, yeah. It's but good when you see things The thing on. is, we're all over the world now, so it's actually very hard mm. to make it live. Because you'd have to do live links to Australia, Japan, yeah, yeah, yeah. time differences. Yeah, all sorts. You get all sorts of all sorts. Okay. All sorts. You? So, have you ever seen any bright ideas that you know will never make it off the ground? We ha there was one. There was one when um, I was told, right, we're going filming next week. This bloke's phoned in. He's got this substance that's fire retardant. He's prepared to strip down, not naked. They wouldn't let him mm. strip naked. Paint it all over him and set fire to himself to prove that it doesn't work. And then I got a call the next week to say, oh, filming's been cancelled, he's in hospital. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it had nothing to do with the fire retardant oh, stuff, it turned it? out. What was it? Uh, sprained his ankle or something, oh. boring like that. OK, it's so OK, don't worry. It was all right, but okay. I did think that was a bit dodgy. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Just a bit. OK, now listen, we've been doing some research and we've come across a number of inventions that have been featured on the show, which for some reason just didn't make it. They oh, didn't. No. They didn't make it. For instance, do you know that you featured centrally heated ski poles? Did we? On your show, yeah. <laughs> we uh, have you're... some cracking inventions on our show, don't we? That's, a, that's a, a real show? time filler, that one. Yeah. Here's another time oh, filler. A toothbrush that sings the theme from Love Story. You need that <laughs> first thing in the morning. Well, you did, for those dull moments. Or, or, or just before a date, maybe, to get you in the mood. <laughs> could be, could be. I'm justifying our Just show. could be a candid photography session. <laughs> um, a, rubber plant, a rubber plant television aerial. Rubber plant television aerial. Very yeah. useful. Where the aerial Very was actually useful. disguised within the plant. Uh, for those inconvenient, unsightly um, televisions. What's uh, wrong with these inventions? Nothing. I don't know. They just didn't catch up. They didn't. They never took. It's a shame. Uh, but Dad, go on, tell the game. Yeah. So we've discovered that some of this century's greatest inventions were dissed when they first appeared. Dissed. So what we're going to do? We're dissed. 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 Just like. So we're going to put your scientific knowledge to the test this morning. So we ask you to try and guess which inventions they are. Are we you quite knowledgeable, like Carol Vorderman? <laughs> Aren't you? Well, well we're going to find, gonna find, we're gonna find out. out. We're going to play Yesterday's World. Yay! Okay. That was very X-Files. That was, wasn't it? Yeah. Nice. Okay. We're, we're now going to show you some of the things said about some famous gadgets when they were invented. They're now part of our lives, all these gadgets. They're part of our lives. Of our lives. Of our, li of our lives. We've of our made lives. them part of our lives. This is a test, uh, isn't it? Yeah, and we want yeah. to know what they are. Okay, here's the first quote. <laughs> has no future. <laughs> <laughs> has no, no future. future. The Labour Party. Ooh. Whoa! Oh, we've got a bit of a right winger on the well. show. No, it's now done very well. Okay. People slated it as well. Okay. Okay. So what, what do you, what do you, is that, what's your answer? Go on, really. That is the answer. Go on. For an arch Tory like yourself. The cash machine. Be? Okay. Now, do you know what it is? It's radio. <laughs> radio has it. That was altered by Lord Kelvin, president of the Royal Society in 1895. Here's quote two. Heavier, Heavier than, than air. air. Ooh, ooh, are impossible. impossible. Oh, that will obviously be carbon molecules. Whoa! <laughs> Sounded really good. Look out for the big breakfast news and weather. Miss Phil. Good morning. These are the main stories on Wednesday, the 21st of January.